So Project Life Size has been hacked this week. I've been kind of blessed. I've had some time to think about it, to digest it, and process it. Because I have been thinking, what happens after a tragedy? I'm going to throw it out there. After 911, it was a tragedy. New York lost so much. What happened? People rallied together. People pulled through. People grew stronger. People found support. And you think of so many occurrences where tragedy strikes in people's lives and people's instincts are to pull together and to be resilient and strong and grow and learn and the thing is if you really look at it we lost some videos but that was all what we found was something far more worthwhile I think because you can delete a video but you can't delete the sentiment and the feeling of camaraderie I love the girls of Project Life Size I love our, sus our subscribers there has been an emotional outpouring of support of love of encouragement we've found that our message hasn't left YouTube our message in Project Life Size can't be deleted our message isn't just a video our message is love and support and compassion and and self-acceptance and our subscribers right now are shining them that message back to us like a beacon encouraging us supporting us and at a time when some might think that we would fall apart we're resilient to keep on going and to learn from it and to feel encouraged by it. It is such a message of hope that we will survive and we will be okay. So Megan, don't cry anymore about it. This is a blessing in disguise. And the thing is, I don't care who did it. I don't care what they felt if they had any kind of emotional jolly out of it I don't I just don't care how they felt doing what they did the only thing I can say to the hacker is thank you thank you for making us realize what we've got in project life size making us cherish it all the more so thank you whoever did it.